At Longhorn Investments, we have two basic funding programs. For flips, we fund 100% of purchase and repair, up to 70% of the ARV. For rentals or buy and holds, we fund 100% of purchase and repair, up to 75% of the ARV. How does that all work? Well, let's take a look at an example with some easy to understand round numbers. Let's say you've got a property that you are buying for $100,000 and you plan to put $40,000 worth of work into that property. The appraiser goes out and does a subject to appraisal and determines that the ARV or the after repair value is $200,000. If it's a flip, we're lending 70% of the ARV. So in this case, we're lending 70% of $200,000. Do the math, that's $140,000. Going back to the numbers of this deal, the purchase price is $100,000. The scope of work is $40,000. That equals $140,000. And our max loan amount, 70% of the ARV, is also $140,000. So in this example, we are lending 100% of the purchase and repair. Let's say the ARV was $220,000. Well, 70% of $220,000 is $154,000. Does that mean you're going to get a $14,000 gift card to Lowe's or Home Depot? It doesn't. Our maximum loan is either 70% of the ARV or 100% of purchase and repair. So if your all-in cost is $140,000 and our max loan determined by the ARV could go up to 154,000, we still will only lend you the 100% of purchase and repair, which in this case is 140,000. Now, what happens if the ARV is 190,000? Well, 70% of 190,000 is 133,000. Your all-in cost is still 140,000. So that leaves $7,000 left over that we are not funding that you are still responsible for as a part of your all-in cost. At Longhorn Investments, we always fund all of the rehab. So in this example, we would fund $40,000 towards your scope of work, which is your entire scope of work. And then we would fund 93,000 of the $100,000 that goes towards the purchase of the property. So while our goal is always to keep as much money in your pockets as we can, in this example, you would then bring $7,000 to closing, which essentially at this point takes on the form of a down payment. But again, we do 70% of the ARV, and if the numbers work out like they often do with deals that we fund, we will cover 100% of purchase and repair. Now, what about for rentals or buy and holds? Well, I won't go through all of the examples, but we'll just use that initial first example. Instead of 70% of the ARV, we'll lend up to 75% of the ARV. So let's just say we've got a property that you're buying for $100,000 and the scope of work is $50,000 and the subject to appraisal determines that the ARV is $200,000. Well, we're lending 75% of the ARV. 75% of $200,000 is $150,000. $100,000 for the purchase price, $50,000 for the scope of work. That's $150,000. So we're lending 100% of purchase and repair, all $150,000, because 75% of the ARV is $150,000. So that's how our buy and hold program works. It's the same thing as our flip program. The mechanics are identical, except we're going to lend up to 75% of the ARV for a rental or a buy and hold, and we'll lend up to 70% for a flip. Hope you understand. Have a great day.